I think number one is, is someone that wants to be here, someone that wants to be a part of what we're building and someone that wants to be a part of this family. Everyone doesn't realize that it's a really, really special thing to be a part of a college team, to be a part of a, a, a group of student athletes all working towards one goal. And, and someone that wants to be a part of that is gonna work their hardest every single day to achieve whatever our goals are. They're gonna build good daily habits. They're gonna to communicate to whoever they need to communicate to and they're going to be willing to, to put the work in and get the job done. Someone that doesn't want to be here, um, that's, that's the biggest red flag for me as someone who's recruiting. If you're communicating with me daily, if you show interest, if you're willing to put in the work, that's the biggest thing for me, someone who's willing to be there. Within the next 12 months at AIC Women's Tennis, I think we're definitely still planning to do a lot of culture, a lot of team building, whether we're on the tennis court or we're off the tennis court, just spending time together, learning about each other. We're a very diverse team, so we come from a lot of different backgrounds, understanding each other's diversities, where they come from, who they are, and I think that really, really helps us play better on the court, but also just have a better experience overall because these people you're gonna be connected with for your whole life, hopefully, and through the first season we've really started to build some of those connections and I think we can only strengthen them and then allow new people new faces to come into our culture and, and just assimilate immediately. I think it's definitely a balance I think it's definitely important to pull people from from all backgrounds especially the uh, the background of the region that we play in. Um, part of tennis is it's outside, outside sport we deal with the elements we deal with cold weather we deal with wind and having players from specifically New England, is very beneficial to playing in that region. So our student athletes specifically are in uh, a couple different majors. We have probably about half our team in the health science major, and we have the other half in the, uh, in the business or international business uh, department. So a lot of our practices are, are extremely um, fast-paced. We're doing a lot of things at once, whether we're, we're bouncing from drill to drill uh, very quickly, or we're doing conditioning in between each drill. We try to keep things very fast paced, very high energy, um, pretty much just to keep our players on our toes at all times. Uh, we have music playing, um, a variety of languages during practice, and I think it's a really, really good positive atmosphere and something we've, we've talked about since the beginning was enjoying it, enjoying practice, and, and coming to practice every day and saying yes. Um, the biggest word we've used uh, since I've got here is communication. If we're communicating with each other, we're communicating with, with our teammates, with our professors, with our coaches, uh, we're all going to get to the, uh, the end together. But if, we, if there's a lack of communication, if there's a lack of trust, then, every, then people will start to stray. So communication has been the biggest thing. And then second is just discipline and building good habits. If we can build good daily habits, the success will come but we need to focus on our daily habits and, and making good choices day by day because the little things, that's where it all starts. <laughs>